Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steeler Nation what's on our minds. I'm Melanie Friedlander. The Pittsburgh Steelers have been active in free agency, plugging holes in the depth chart in order to allow the team to focus on the best players available at fewer positions of need when the 2023 NFL draft begins. There is one role that hasn't been addressed yet, and that's punt and kick returner. Prior to the 2022 season, the team signed wide receiver Gunnar Olszewski, primarily as a return man for special teams. That did not work out as planned, as ball security became an issue for the former All-Pro, and he was relieved of his duties a mere four weeks into the season. Wide receiver Steven Sims took over for the remainder of the year, but has now moved on to a new team in free agency. If you look at the current roster, there is no obvious replacement. While Gunner may survive the final cuts in August, it's unlikely he will be given another chance to return kicks or punts. Running back Anthony McFarlane Jr. was brought back on a one-year deal. Although he saw limited playing time, he has three kick returns with an average of 24.3 yards per attempt, just slightly behind Sims, who averaged 25.5 yards on 17 kick returns, but was helped by a splashy 89-yard return on his first true start in that role. McFarland has yet to be given an opportunity as a punt returner, but returning kicks and punts might be his best path to a helmet on game day. It's unlikely wide receiver Deontay Johnson will go back to fielding punts, and Calvin Austin III remains an unknown after missing his entire rookie season due to injury. So what will the Steelers do for their return game? You could argue that ball security is their priority rather than splash plays based on their history. Players like Devin Hester, Josh Cribbs, and Corderell Patterson are rare. Looking at the Steelers' stats over the year, only three players have made more than one kick return for a TD, and most recently was over 20 years ago. The last time Pittsburgh saw a kick return go for six points at all was in 2017, when rookie wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster went 96 yards to score against the Browns. The last time prior to that? 2010, when Moel De Moore fielded the ball and pitched it to rookie wide receiver Antonio Brown, who then sped down the field for a touchdown on his first NFL carry. With about 60% of kickoffs resulting in touchbacks last season, avoiding mistakes tends to be the focus, because returning for touchdowns is rare. You can make that argument for punt return game as well. Since the merger, the best punt returners for Pittsburgh have averaged 11 or 12 yards at best. Deontay Johnson and Emmanuel Sanders have both averaged 10.9 yards per attempt, with Ray Ray McLeod at 9.9 yards, Antonio Brown at 9.5 yards, and Steven Sims with only 5.5 yards per attempt. Field position matters, and it would be nice to see the Steelers improve their return game. They will almost certainly be adding another wide receiver to their roster via free agency, or more likely on day two of the draft. It's possible that yet-to-be-named player could take on that special teams role as well. I would guess we will see at least five players competing for the chance to return kicks and punts once training camp opens. And the one who wins that contest will be the player who proves to be the more reliable rather than anything else. That's my take. You can follow me on Twitter at Girl Surgeon. Check out The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on SteelersDepot.com. And check out the Terrible Podcast with Dave Bryan and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.